Hi guys, this is Ola from Cardpond and you're welcome to this tutorial. I received a comment requesting for some demonstration on how to use Fusion 360 to create sheet metal designs. And so for that purpose, this short tutorial series has been created. Firstly, I want to say that there are several differences between Fusion 360 and other softwares we have. But Fusion 360 is something where in my opinion, is not as robust as other softwares that are available. For instance, if we go over to the sheet metal workspace for Fusion 360, we realize that we have a limited number of tools and operations that can be done. Also under the modifier, we have a limited number of tools and operations that can be done. This will require that for us to create our sheet metal designs, we will need to do a lot of optimization and innovative procedures to have the desired results that we want. So for instance, I have a very simple exercise here, which we're going to begin with. And in so doing, I'm going to portray to us some of the difficulties that we have with Fusion 360 and show or demonstrate how to do that in a different software. And in this case, Autodesk Inventor. To begin, the first thing for us to understand is that for sheet metals, there are rules that come into play. These rules are set in place to help to guide the manufacturing procedure and also to maintain the integrity of our sheet metals. So for instance, when we go over to modify here, you see sheet metal rules. On clicking on this, we have in design sheet metal rules and we have some default rules that accrue to different materials, steel, stainless steel, aluminum, etc. In this case, I'll go over to steel I right click on this new rule button and from our drawing we have that the thickness of our material is one millimeter we also have something called the k factor but in this case i'm not so sure what value should be used because i'm not so much of a professional when it comes to sheet metal manufacturing so we're going to leave it as the default value and i'll just rename this to become exercise one also we have our meter, rip, seam gap, and we leave this as the same size for our thickness. Next, I'll go to bend conditions. Under the bend conditions, we have from our drawing that the radius for our bend is about two, or say two millimeters, not about. So I'll change this to multiply by two. Relief shape, I'll leave all of these as they are. And I would say save. So now we have a new sheet metal rule below here and I could right click on this and say set as default. I can close. So to begin, we create a new sketch on the top plane and for us to do this, I would simply rush through the sketches that we have to use. So for now, what we'll do is since we've created our new rule i finish the sketch and go over to the point where i have flange i select on flange and with the profiles that i need we notice that we have a sheet metal rule below here and then the exercise one so the thickness for the exercise one sheet metal rule is applied to the profile selected and which is very very nice so with that i'll say okay the next thing we want to do as we can see on our drawing is that we have a flange again coming up from this edge going upwards so to do that in fusion 360 i would say i'll select on flange i've selected on the edge already we have the overall distance or height to be 21 millimeters that's a two and one so we have it this way i need this to be inner faces and but we are only left with the height datum. Using the tangent to bend, we also notice that there's a little bit of discrepancy, but for this case, we would just choose to keep it this way. For we assume that the extended difference here, which is not used, is taken out from this point here. So that's just an assumption, and hopefully that is correct. So I'll say, okay, we have this face now. For us to proceed, we have a kind of flange or hemming 
um, feature that comes this way. The feature is usually placed to serve as a protection so as to reduce the number of sharp edges and also in, in the same way to reduce the number of cuts that are possible. But since we have under our crate, we only have flange, we have bend, we have derive, which is not important at this point. Under the modifier, we have unfold, we have fillet, chamfer, but we do not have any other feature that can be used at this point. So trying to use the flange tool and selecting on this edge, we have the opportunity of extending outwards in this manner. But based on the rules already placed, we could come over here to say, we try to override the bend rules that we have. So rather than having it at two millimeters, we say, let's change it to 0 0.1. So we have this, the bend radius at 0 0.1. And because we need it to come downwards, means that we're going to have to increase the angle here. So if we say 100 degrees, we see that, yes, we have something good going on. So by the time I say 100 and hit 180 degrees, then we understand that there is now a difference. If I try to use inner faces, it's also the same. If I flip the direction, it doesn't flip in the manner we want it. I say negative 3.67, it gives an error. So basically it's kind of difficult and I would say also maybe slightly impossible to have this feature the way it is desired to be had. So um, what can be done? Since it's impossible for us to have it the way it is, um, Fusion 360 seems not to want to work in that manner. The alternative is for us to use a different software. With Inventor, um, we do not have a sheet metal workspace here. So what we do is we come over to convert to sheet metal. And then we have the workspace here for us. We begin by creating a new sketch and on the top plane to replicate the same profile we used previously. I go over to sheet metal defaults and edit a sheet metal rule here. So I say new and I'll just say exercise one just like we did previously. Okay. So with exercise one, we have the thickness to be one millimeter the default k factor um let's see what this gives us save edits yes so i guess i'll just change this and use this um for my because i'm not so sure what the k factor and the other things are in the rest of them so for now i would say this is one millimeter so we use the default mm one millimeter for the sheet thickness. The radius, bending radius is this multiplied by two. Okay. And then for the rest of the things, we're probably just going to leave them the way they are. So for now, I'll say save and close. Cancel. Sheet metal rule. We go over to default in millimeters. Say apply. And okay, cancel. So to create our thickness, I'll go over to face. I'll select on the profiles here. There seems to be some kind of, um, let's call it intersection between these lines. So I guess I'll go back to edit my sketch. Okay, so now we have the sketch a little bit simpler than previously. So I click on face, which is quite different from what we had in Fusion 360. I select on my profiles. We notice that we are using the same sheet metal rules that we just um, defined. I'll say apply and cancel. The next thing we'll do is I'll come over to flange, select on this edge as we did previously on the right view. We want this the, ex the height to be of 21 millimeters. Okay. But we also want the distance, let's see, to be the entire thing, which is from intersection of two outer faces. So we use this. Okay. And the bend position is here, which is perfect. 
the flange value not needed all of this is good so we have this at this point is where we had a bit of um difficulty so for us to do that we have what we call the hem which we did not have in fusion 360. i select on this edge and you notice here right now that we do have the hem created for us so the thickness for this we have the thickness here of i would say 1 1 and 0 0.5 which is what we have apply and so you notice now that there is a lot of um, differences and within the two softwares so it's like i said earlier on it it has a lot to do with how these softwares what kind of tools and complexities are being prepared within them and in this case we see that there are just certain things that this software has that the other does not so at this point lastly we go over to this front face and create a new sketch on this plane and for this i would create a rectangle in this manner it does have fillets so i'll create fillets around here a fillet of two millimeters so i apply that between these two between these two between these two between these two so cancel and place my dimensions so at this point what we can do is to cut this out so we say cut select on this profile say okay so we notice now that we have just what we have on our drawing so that's it and it's quite simple the only thing is that for these softwares um, for fusion 360 in particular there are a list of functions that are not available so it does have its own downsides where the other softwares that quite a number of people do not use have um, advantages so in this case to do sheet metal i would suggest that um, inventor autodesk inventor is used instead of fusion 360 but i guess it's also going to depend on the availability for let's say license for these softwares and yeah so this is a very simple and i will catch you guys in the next sheet metal tutorial